Back now with a big settlement over a big problem at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. $2.2 billion being paid out to veterans exposed to contaminated drinking water. Some 900,000 service members were potentially exposed between 1953 and 1987. That's a long time and a lot of people, but we found that not everyone possibly exposed will be getting a piece of the settlement. Ten of your side's Andy Fox joins us now. And Andy, you talked to a veteran who got chemotherapy right before you talk to him, but he is not included in this. And you can imagine how long the days are. Very long day today. These days are long. And a warning, one of the images in this report is graphically true. The reality of cancer and tumors and treatment. This is Keith English's story of survival and then denial of what he says is a needed and deserved benefit. Camp Lejeune's Tarawa Terrace is ground zero for one of the worst water contamination cases in U.S. history. I, th I think that I'm being um, cheated. Norfolk resident Keith English lived in Tarawa Terrace from 1985 through 1987, the critical time. Here he is, front row, second from right. 25 years after leaving the contaminated housing, he got stage four throat cancer, had a vocal cord removed that left his voice sounding like this. I've been accountable my entire time as a Marine. I want my government to be accountable for this. Then in March 2016, stage three lung cancer. Three inch tumor in my right lung, wrapped around in blood vessel. Then five weeks after that, stage four lip cancer. A walnut sized tumor appeared on my lip. It was so big that it burst through the top of my lip. English says he has no family history of cancer, never smoked, and he tests negative for all factors that can cause cancer. I'm hoping that this is over. But I fear that liver, kidney, or brain is next. English applied for benefits due to the contaminated water, but was denied because his cancers were not on the accepted eight diseases for coverage and benefits. Because they're saying these cancers, but not your cancers. Exactly. But my cancer was definitely the consequence of being exposed to that contaminated water. English and thousands of others have now filed a class action lawsuit. He doesn't want money. I'm not even looking for one dime. What I want is for this to be service-connected disability. English wants service-connected disability due to the contaminated water for his family. If I pass away from this, my family is destitute. Nobody provides life insurance coverage for a cancer, as someone with cancer. I've had three. I am never going to be covered. The Marine Corps slogan is, the few, the proud, the Marines. Keith English would argue in this case, the slogan could be, Marines, the few, the proud, the forgotten. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.